Hello, 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 hello. Gosh, it is it's Sunday night. That's it's, right. It's before um uh Super Bowl Sunday. Yes. Uh, we early. So anybody out there, y'all need to go and tell everybody Lisa and Victoria's we's here. We ready to get started. We, look, we start before this is how it's gonna be next Sunday where everybody's watching the Super Bowl game. They're gonna be on right. the wait. Right. <laughs> but and, and, and we're gonna be like, what y'all waiting for? Oh, y'all waiting for uncensored and luncheon with Lisa. That's, That's right. Lisa. That's right. Girl. So hello everybody out there. Me and Lisa, we having fun. Y'all know how we do it. We rock and roll it. Y'all just gotta catch it with the rest of us because we're gonna do it live and we're gonna have fun doing it. We are back tonight on Uncensored Conversation. And I am so super excited because my BFF is in the house, my accountability partner's in the house, the one, the only, the famous luncheon with Lisa herself, Lisa the Washington. I'm gonna have Victoria, I'm gonna have to have you introduce me all the time. You always make me feel so wonderful. Look, just regular old Lisa, but Victoria makes me feel special every time. So I'm gonna keep you in my oh. back pocket for sure. <laughs> I, I would love. I don't know. I love, I've always wanted, see, this is crazy. I always wanted to uh, be the person that works at the hospital. Well, then I decided I want to be on radio. The hospital people say, Dr. Washington, please report to. On the mic. Oh. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. It goes all over the place. It and does. Then, and then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That is so cool. I could just do that, you know, on TV or something. You can do it anytime you want to now, right? So now I can just do it whenever I get ready. That's so, right. Have, and then when I have somebody phenomenal like you, it's even more fun. Oh, I mean, I'm, you know, you just not everybody knows how much fun we have, Lisa. You know, they just that's right. Don't get it. We always we, have fun. We always have fun. So, guys, go out there and tell people we're here because Lisa and I got something to talk about. We're gonna talk about y'all to y'all space behind your back. <laughs> that's the best way to do it. I'm just saying. <laughs> we just gonna talk about y'all today. We just want y'all to know that we love y'all and all that kind of stuff. But we gonna talk about y'all. So Lisa, it's twenty two. Yeah. It's twenty two. It's February already. It is. It is. It's. Fe- I can't believe that it's already February. I mean, it sort of feels like where did January and no December and November go? It's moving fast already, but you know, 21 actually went pretty fast. So yeah, it did. It really did. So Lisa, what's going on with you, girl? Oh, geez. Um, I'm trying to not have as much going on with me because I've uh lately learned that I need to take a chill pill. And as I tell other people, I actually need to have several seats. Um, so what's going on right now is I'm trying to slow things down a little bit, but still. Um, working things, I'm just trying to manage them differently. So, um, Touch by the publishing is going well. Um, I'm excited about the new client we have on board um, for another collaboration. So that's exciting. Um, my crafts, I haven't done too much with, but I am getting ready to do a couple of things for breast cancer awareness. So I have a couple of uh, wreaths that I am working on for someone. So that's continuing to go. And that's therapy anyway so i love yeah. crafting yeah um and then we have the power shut up which is always my mission um so i'm always thinking of new and inventive things to do with the power shut up because it's it's relatable every day all day okay. um there's always every time i see something that's related to communication which is a daily thing the power shut up is just that's my jam so that's forever wow. my mission in life is to um share the word about the power of shut up um and then other than that i mean the magazine is celebrating 10 years this year Um, so i'm excited about that and we're getting prepared for the hidden treasure awards that's going to be at the end of this year so all of this is a celebration of 10 years but yes dove sound magazine has been in existence since 2012 january of 2012 well, dang, Lisa, you wasn't, you were just a baby when you started. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I wish. <laughs> You was like, what, two I and a half? I was old then too, right? <laughs> you was two and a half and just directing the world and nobody knew it. I was you. real old then, but I said, whatever. <laughs> wow. Well, I, you know, 
go thank you to those that are coming in. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Get your coffee, get your wine, come on in and join us. We're having fun. So Lisa, I, I can't imagine anybody out there that doesn't know who you are, but I'm going to tell y'all. Now, she runs DSM uh, Media. She runs the-, the Absolutely, she yes. Run, she runs at her and Sheree, well, they got things rocking and rolling. Lisa, do you think there's anything else you can add to the resume of business? I probably shouldn't. Well, <laughs> if yeah, I we thought it was something else, <laughs> I, I probably should not be adding anything else. But no, it's kind of like it, it does feed into the media world, which I've always had a love for. I mean, mm -hmm. believe it or not, and I know sometimes it's cliche to say you always wanted to do something, but even in elementary school, um, I love to write. So I'm doing things that I always love to do with the writing. Oh, wow. But in addition to that, I always had a love for journalism. Wow. Um, and I think back then it was Maureen Bunyan who was on the news as a journalist. Oh, yeah. And she was like, she was one of my like, I looked up to her and I didn't share with a lot of people, but I was always saying, I don't know if it's going to be in front of the screen or behind the screen, but I just wanted to be in that world. It seemed like my space. Um, right. So it's kind of interesting how things kind of go full circle. Wow. Yep. See, see, I can see you doing that. I can, see, I can see you knocking at NBC and ABC's door and you having your own little platform and Oprah went, hey, Oprah, how you doing, girl? Uh, <laughs> Oprah walking by and say, oh, is that Lisa? Let me go down and say, holla at my girl. I can, let's and you manifest, know, let's manifest. Hey, yeah. we're speaking it, y'all. And, That's and I, right. I mean, I can see you doing that. I can see you doing, and I can see you covering those major stories that, I Most always of, loved it. I mean, that's why when I got to some of the, like one of my first um, scenes in the movie, um, it was a journalist and I was, you know, mm -hmm. reporting that, of course, there were dead bodies in the, in the, you know, in the sewer. <laughs> but I mean, it was kind of like, that's my, yeah, that's, I've always just admired journal, journalists and sitting on the, you know, and reporting the news and sitting on there and, and talking and having fun doing it too. Um, yep. Yeah, that whole thing. Um, when I went to um, Great Day Washington to talk about the power shut up, um, I had Sh Shariva was with me and um, Sean uh, Lasour now because she's married now. Mm -hmm. um, Sean was with me. The three of us went in there and I just literally as we walked through the studio um, before my segment on TV, I was just like, I'm so comfortable. I was nervous, but not because I was like, I feel so comfortable here. So right. y'all out there just listening, just know. I mean, I, I was nervous for sure. Because um, I think the last time I had been on TV was Bozo the Clown. And I'm aging myself. Wow. Um, <laughs> Lisa. And I, I was a kid winning some marathon uh, candy baby. bars, which are non-existent now. So I am, again, <laughs> aging myself. But you know, that was my last experience with TV. So this was like, but I really did love the energy was like everything to me. Wow. So now in 22, we got to look for Dove TV. Huh. How about that? Dove TV. Y'all mark it down. Make sure y'all remember that it was said here <laughs> today on February 16th. That's right. You know, so by the end of the year, we're going to be looking at Dove TV. I know that's right. Featuring producer executive Lisa Dill Washington. See, I, I love it. Sounds good. Sounds good. I like <laughs> that. I like that. I come on in and do the first introduction of the show. Okay. Come, All right. Well, Lisa, so everybody, well, I know that everybody that's watching, they have either got volume one or volume two of Power Shut Up. Yes. Well, it was, it was a re republish. A re a republish. Right. Right. So it, is there going to be a spinoff? Like, actually, the power to shut down? <laughs> look, that's interesting. No, actually, um, I am working on some ideas that I've played around with, and people have suggested some things. I think what I want to do with the power shut up is break it down. Because um, even though that book kind of embraces all kinds of scenarios, whether it's relationship, yeah. your children, work, uh, I really want to break it down into smaller segments because um, the power shut up in relationships. Um, some of it is the same, but there are you know, different nuances to it um, mm -hmm. where I can get more into it um, about why the 
power shut up is important in your relationships. Right. Um, and the same with children, something separate for that in raising our children and the yelling and the hollering, me confessing to right. being a yeller, um, but mm -hmm. how we got to learn to do better. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking to break it down a little bit more as opposed to, I mean, not as opposed, but in addition, um, some other areas that I want to actually um, kind of write on and speak on. Um, I got a lot going on in my head. I'm trying to get it on paper, but I'm trying to pace right. myself. Um, yeah, so it's it's a whole lot going on in, in, in here that um, I would like to do or at least start to do in 2022. She's not just a pretty face, y'all. She is so... <laughs> Her brain, Lord Jesus, bless her. They, so they, they, <laughs> they, they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to do something with just you know. They need to clone you or something. I don't know how they would do it. <laughs> oh no, my husband might say we can't do two of them. We can't do two of them. <laughs> but, by the, but by the time they would clone you, though, you didn't came up a whole nother set of thinking. You just bought out of well. That's place. true. That's it well. Went, that's went, that's, that's good and bad because you know sometimes that thinking can get you you know, get you stressed because my brain doesn't shut down sometimes. And so I'm trying to teach myself how to just pace myself because I think that they're coming to me for a reason um, and it's very intentional, but I also have to be proactive in how I release it. Everything is, doesn't have to be released like right now, but normally it's like right. if it drops in my spirit, I'm like, okay, because I will share this with the Power of Shut Up. I am looking to do the Power of Shut Up Symposium too. So that is on my agenda. I'm trying not to make sure I overwhelm myself um, because April is really my date for that. Yeah. Um, so I'm working on some things just because I did add the Hidden Treasure Awards to you know, my setup for 2022. But yes, I am looking to have um, the Power Shut Up Symposium too. And then you're going to have the Power Shut Up movie look I have thought about some ways to recreate um some storylines that actually address the power shut up because I think people don't realize that daily they're running across situations where they could have exercised their power shut up and they don't really understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying until they get you kind of get it when you, you read the book I think you get it but yep. to see it in in play it, would, it actually would be um very relatable I, I believe. Yeah. I think a lot of people are in situations where they're like, uh, um, well, I could have done that differently. Um, and I'm looking to do some kind of power shut up cliff notes. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm working on some things. Because you know that, you know, the power, y'all, okay, y'all, I've been busy today. Lisa, I've been working like uh, today. Yeah. On Sunday. On Sunday. Right. I've, I've been doing some extra song today. So I, I, I didn't, I'm, I'm going to have to go, when I post tonight, I'm going to have to post both of the books. I have, I have both of the books, the revised and the new one, of course. I, of course, I have the original book and I've got the revision. And so with that being said, Lisa, you know, I got to throw my pun out there. If you have not purchased The Power of Shut Up, first of all, you're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> you, you just C-R-A-Z-Y with capital C. You need to go out there, Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Um, I think Walmart still has Walmart. it. Um, yep. You need to go out there and buy. I, I would suggest go ahead and getting one of each. That way you would have two, and then buy three more. Well, they can't get the um, the original anymore, so uh, I stopped. I stopped that one, um, uh, and so now that. they can just go for the new one, which is the one with the um, this is the darker <laughs> cover. So this is the one. That's the new one. Yeah. Yes. I got that one. And I got the old one too. <laughs> but I think you need to go out there and buy five copies. Because see, so you got to buy one because you didn't buy the original. <laughs> so I like you that. Gotta up, I like that. You got to make up for not buying the original and just go out there and buy four more copies of the new one. You get one copy for somebody who needs to know what the true meaning of power shut up is. Then you got to give someone, you got to have one for the book club. Then you got to yeah. have one as a gift. And then you got to make sure you have your own copy while you can make notations in. And then you got to keep one. Yes. So that's fine. That sounds like a plan. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They got no map down for them. Lisa, they just need to go out there and get them today. Well, Lisa, 
So, but the thing is, that's not the only book Lisa has. No. Um, actually, under my publishing company, because that's one of the reasons why I republished um, The Power Shut Up to kind of bring it home, because I did launch my own publishing company, Touched by Dove Publishing. Um, but actually, my very first book was Unleash Your Superpower. Um, and it's a collaboration of uh, six stories, I had, including myself. And we talked about things that we overcame and what our superpowers are. So we kind of reveal what our superpower is and, and, mm -hmm. and why we felt that our superpower, because I truly believe that um, sometimes your superpower is not something that you love. Um, my, my superpower is not something that I was excited about having as a superpower I was like why me um <laughs> but why me? um it, it but and I think a lot of people need to kind of figure out what is that what is it and, and you might have a couple um but it actually mm -hmm. kind of in in invites people to discover what your superpower is how do you show up in the world what is your gift um that sometimes we don't we don't like that that's our gift but once you recognize that it is what it is, then you need to, you know, look into that and see how to handle it. Because once it's given to you, it's yours. Now, what you do with it, that's that's up to you. But when he right. gives it to you, um, yeah, it's yours. You can choose to not use it or use it. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. So you better make the best of it. And then like I, I do feel that you're giving gifts to share with others, which is one of the reasons why I love to write, one of the reasons why I love to publish, um, because I think we all go through things and testimonies, whether it's in the past or even current, that will help others um, to get through stuff because we all seem to go through things and think we're all by ourselves. Um, it's just a natural thing to assume nobody is going through this but me and when you share your story you actually literally find out oh wow you know these were people that I never knew were going through the same thing I'm going through even my latest bout it was just like I didn't realize how many people were actually going through some of the same things because mm -hmm. I thought I was all alone with this like I've heard it before but you never right. really think people around you are experiencing the same thing and it actually made me feel better that not that that you know they're going through something but that right. I'm not alone and right. then we can kind of glean off each other on what did you do? What, what, you know, what are some ideas? So yeah, it's a good thing to share. I know some people say, oh, you shouldn't share. What I think whatever makes you comfortable, I am truly, you know, transparent on a lot of things when it comes to, you know, letting people know that even though on social media, it looks like we're doing all these wonderful things and, and, and that's all good and wonderful. Um, Cause I get irritated with people that say social media is not real. It is real. Yes, um, so true enough people lie even if it wasn't social media people don't tell the truth and, and exaggerate things but yeah it, it's it's real it's just that everybody doesn't share all the bad they share all the good and I think it should be a balance and when I say bad I don't mean right. bad things but I mean things that you go through to, to let people know that you're human so right. you know it's not that it's always just fun and roses for me there I'm human just like everybody else and things happen, and I let it out when I'm ready, of course, but I let it out and, and, and then talk about it, because um, you can't be scared to talk about it. You, ne you can never heal if you're not willing to talk about it and share. I mean, you can't, you can't heal yourself. I'm not no doctor, so I can't talk to me. I ain't no doctor. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't. Dr. Lisa Washington. I, I will have a conversation with you, but doctor is not in front of my name to heal you. Um, <laughs> but I can pray with you and, and share with you. Um, and I think that's what we should continue to do. That is so true. So that's one of the books and you've been in many collaborations. Yes. You, you just, and so you've been all around the publishing uh, for arena, you know, being either active or now doing the publishing. And I know you probably get this question a hundred times. So truly going into doing the publishing, was that always a dream? Or was that something that after you saw what you went through, the good, the things you went through in the good, because we don't want to talk about no negatives, y'all. That's right. We's on, we are uncensored, but we ain't, we ain't retarded either. But, you know, you, you went through all of that and you saw all of the things that publishers go through and that didn't stop you. That made you want to do it even more. 
Yeah, you know, I didn't know what it entailed, um, but I've always, like I said, I've written since elementary school. So writing has always been my thing. I never thought about publishing. I always knew I wanted to be an author or have a children's series was really what I always wanted to do. Never power shut up wasn't even on my agenda. Um, wow. But I've always loved to write. I love research right. papers. I've done some book writing contests when I was in fifth grade. I mean, it's all been there. But when I went through the process of publishing and all the things that you have to learn about the industry, and it just, it brought me in. It was just like, this just kind of, it kind of completed my circle of, okay, I love to write. I love to read. I love to do research. Um, all of that brought me to, and it just was a perfect fit, you know? So I went to my, the publisher and said, Hey, you know, this is something. And, and of course I'm watching her. So of course I'm leaning right. off of that and said, I would love to do this. What is, what are your feelings on it? Do you think this is a good fit? And she, you know, kind of blessed it with, yes, I think it is, you know, based on, what you what you do what you love to do I loved every part of it now getting into it of course you learn even more um I would have good and bad experiences but I took them as lessons um and it actually moved me to want to do different for people who came on with me so yeah. I might have seen things and said well I, don't, I wouldn't want to do it that way but I can do it this way um because it's everybody's style you know publishers oh, yeah. are all different um, it's not that one is necessarily better than the other. Everybody just has different styles, but I liked um, the whole process. And of course, in starting your business, you learn that there are very challenging moments and, and times, but um, I'm here for it all. I, it, it never discouraged me. It just, it can be challenging at times, but never have I, you know, yet anyway said, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, I think I launched Touch by Dove Publishing in 2019, um, but I'm good. I'm, I'm, wow. I'm excited about it every time. I'm just as excited as the new clients that come on board. I mean, I want them to have this as much as they want to have it, so. Well, I gotta say thank you to you. I know I've said it a, pop, a couple of times and I know I've said it to you uh, personally, but I wanna thank you from, at, for me because you inspired me to go back to writing. And you know, I'm not gonna go into the history because if y'all wanna know the history, then you gotta go back to 2020 and read and listen to the video. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Let's go back to 2020. You can hear the whole story. But I want to say thank you because you, you know, you didn't give up on me as mm -hmm. a writer. You know, there was things that I was afraid of or that I wasn't sure I could do. And, and, the, and of course, the bad experience that I had, at, you know, at that time. But I will never forget that conversation. And you said, you got to let that go. You got to get Look, y'all, don't make her mad. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, don't make her mad. Don't, don't get, I'm not going to say mad. Don't act like that you've given up. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to put it that way, Lisa. Don't act like you're going to give up and you talk to Lisa Del Washington because they ain't going to have So sorry, so yeah, sorry. I, I don't want nobody to give up. I, <laughs> I, 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 especially when I know that it's something you want, but I, I do know it can get discouraging. Um, you know, the devil stay busy and so do other people other things so um we got to start building ourselves up to be able to handle those moments because normally if it's something that you really want to do but you feeling like this angst about should I keep going should I push forward um a lot of times it's because there's something outside of you that doesn't want you to go in that direction because yes. it's about to be a wonderful thing um yes. and that's what motivates me that okay somebody don't want me to see that blessing on the other side so um let me push through this and, and and find out what's over there for me because I mean God is going to lead you in the direction if you're talking to him and if you ain't talking to him sometimes you go in the wrong direction but you know if you ask him to lead the way you know he will he will you know make that clear for you but you got you got to talk to him and ask for that clarity or you might be going down the wrong path and we all have gone down the wrong path and, th mm -hmm. and thought we could say we thought he was sending us there but we know that on well he was not saying go over there but you know right. we've all done it um and we're never perfect at it but that's what when I start to feel like I'm going this way and this way I just have a conversation and say okay <laughs> I'm I, I must be in the way 
So, you know, make this clear for me. And then I push, just push on. And I, I need that re- reboot from other people. You know, there's sometimes when it's the conversation from one person that just kind of reminds me, okay, Lisa, that's enough. No more pity party, no more, you know, believing you can't. Let's let's go on out there and, and do what you do. So I and I want to be that for other people. When I see there's something you want, but you've been hurt, whether it's church or publishing, whatever it is, we all have. You know, now I know that there's there's probably a such thing as publishing hurt, um, <laughs> for sure. Um, <laughs> you gonna write that book too, right? You gonna write that book? That. Yes, indeed. There's some publishing hurt out there, but I think it can be worked through, and it's a matter of trust on both sides. Um, yeah. I just th- think that what people don't realize, to me, and what I learned through publishing, is it really your experience with publishing will teach you a lot about who you are. Um, as far as your levels of patience, um, understanding, openness, um, it really does, yeah. if you want to think about it in a deeper way, it does kind of, um, it, it opens your eyes to, you know, where you could be needing some attention. Um, <laughs> You're right. It's actually a process that will challenge all of those things. <laughs> Look, and she said, y'all hear how she changed her little tone when she said that? <laughs> that was the power of shutting up. <laughs> Activate it. But you, you're so right, though, you know, because I think prior to having that conversation with you, I was just like, you know what, I, I didn't feel, I, I was like, oh, my God, I am just so dumb. Or, yeah, I said it. Now, don't no, y'all say it now, because Lisa, right. <laughs> Lisa ain't having y'all talking about me like it. No, but no, I, no. <laughs> but, you know, I felt like, I, I, I had let myself down and I just, mm-mm, this ain't for me. I shouldn't be doing it anyway. I don't have anything that anybody needs to hear. Da, 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 da. But you yeah. said, don't look, don't, don't let that stop you. Get back in the saddle. She gave me, y'all, she said a whole lot. She don't know I was on the other side of all going. She make me sick. <laughs> family stuff. She's talking all that junk. <laughs> but it took me, I guess, maybe for you know, a couple of days to think about what you said. And it did make sense. You can't let, <clears throat> excuse me, I still got the COVID cough, girl. You can't let that w- one mishap cause you to stop. And you can't let the second mishap, because I had to, to <laughs> the second mishap cause you to give up. Because the first one was a mishap. I didn't understand. The second was, I, it was just, oh. You know, but you you said it. Don't let that cause you to give up. And I'm right. glad that I didn't, because we got some people out there that's watching that. Because you told me to keep writing, I was a part of Michelle B. Hammond's book collaboration. Michelle B. Hammond's in the house. Yes. Shariva, Deborah, all of y'all, come on in, come on in. Tell everybody to come on with us. But because you can, you you know, you inspired me to continue to write. The opportunity came for me to be in Michelle's uh, collaborations with the coaches. It was amazing. <clears throat> and then recently, of course, you know, I have the book written right here because I just got, I got one more copy and I got, you know, I got to order some more. Uh, I, this, this, I guess, let's see, listen, you got to help me say it. Did I say it, Cheryl, right? Y'all see this? Can y'all see that? Yes. Okay. So because Lisa talked me into continuing to writing, I was a part of this collaboration on your uniqueness, your voice matters. Well, my voice mattered. And I That's was able right. to get it, it came out of me, y'all. But because of Lisa, you know, being in the encourager to continue to do what we do, you know, uh, there's, not, there's not a lot of people, there's not a lot of people like her, you and Michelle Hammond that, you know, cause the funny thing is people don't realize that everybody, I get this question a lot. Well, God, how long have you and Lisa been friends? Uh, I met Lisa in 20 when I met Michelle. In COVID, during COVID. <laughs> during COVID, me and Sylvia and all the whole crew. And they're like, oh, really? Yeah. But we ain't never, we ain't never like, we ain't never been to each other's house. This is as close as we get. But we have boy, never when, met in person, but, but you COVID, wouldn't know it. Yes. Y'all better know. But see, this is what you look, when you're hearing us tonight and when you're seeing us, this is collaboration. This is what we do in this finest, right? And Lisa and Michelle and a few other people were actually on the Collaboration versus Conspiracy uh, Conference. And guess what, y'all? Y'all coming back. 
<laughs> yes, I loved it, and I collaboration versus conspiracy. We got, we got, some, we gonna, we're gonna bring some new fresh blood. We're gonna, you know, pick their brains and stuff. But you guys showed me what collaboration really was, and you, you helped me identify that I was correct about the conspiracies because it does happen. And I'm sure mm-hmm. in your business, with all the things that you do with the media and the publishing, even down to, you know, the, the, uh, the crafting, because me and her both, we, we do crafting. I love, I, I really want to buy all of her wreaths. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to buy all her wreaths and I'm going to tell you about it. She's know. queen of wreaths too, so she don't need mine. She's doing just fine yeah. over there too. But I like yours too, though. So that's how we well, do you it. do like a lot of uh, mesh, um, the deco mesh. Yeah. And I love the burlap. So there are some yep. differences with yeah. that. Yeah. Look, and I ain't forgot you. I still got the burlap sitting in my closet for you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't want it. Oh, we're going to get it. We're going to get it and I'm going to work it. Absolutely. I don't want it, Lisa. <laughs> I don't like dealing with it. It's too much. It's too much. I can't get my hands to do yes. what I wanted to do. I so, can put my mask on with it now because now I'm thinking about, you know, all of those fibers and things. But yes, mm-hmm. I put my mask on right in here and get to work. Mm-mm. I'm, I'm, I'm sending <laughs> the burlap to you. I'm done. I will receive it. Well, you, it's about, <laughs> I think it's about six, seven rows of it. Okay. Oh, I will. Oh, I'm having a good time. Say, say you gonna have a good time. So, yeah. but you have you have this unique way that you, uh, you know, everybody asks the question to me: How do you manage to let everything be centered around the word elevate? Well, mm-hmm. that's who I am. I I'm elevated, not tolerated. You know, elevated, not tolerated means to rise above anything and everything that's held you down, has caused you to feel inadequate, and has done so unpleasantly. Yes, with friends with you and Lisa and all of us together. We're gonna I love sure. it. I love it. <laughs> so, but that's who I am. I want to pump. I want to make sure that you know that you're rising to that next level. So I know a lot of people are probably. I know some of the story behind it, but I want you to tell people what is dub to you, y'all. See, y'all don't know what is dub. Is it Lisa? Is Lisa Dub Washington? Is Dub a nickname? What is dub? Can you well, tell? <laughs> I okay so the the honest truth for those who have asked Dove is actually my maiden name um I was born with the name Lisa Dove um yeah so I've carried that name all my life it's funny as I got older and started working um <laughs> people would say oh that sounds like because it's such a short simple Lisa Dove nothing to it you know every now and then people will mess up dove and say dove which I've never understood like why that would even happen but um because you never say the word dove unless you're talking about you know it's just something you don't say that often Mm -hmm. but um Mm -hmm. it's like a name you can't mess up you know you can't shorten it you can't do anything with it it's just kind of Lisa Dove so I've always been asked that and as I started to um back in 2012 when I started to think about the magazine and what to name it and you know by that time I was married so Washington everything was just taken anyway um and being right here in you know Washington DC Maryland or whatever it's like okay I can't think anything with Washington it's all taken um and Dove has been such a it's a it's a unique name um and I I wanted to preserve the name um so actually Dove is my middle name now um, it was Lisa Denise Dove. I let go of the Denise. Um, and because it was the same initial, it kind of still made me comfortable. And I didn't want to release the Dove. I, th- I kept saying it's something, something with this. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to use it in a positive way. Um, and all of my platforms, I really want to create peace, create love, um, yes, extend that olive branch to others um, by enlightening, empowering, and inspiring others. That's been a the theme of the magazine since 2012. Um, right. And that's why the Dove is so relevant to everything that I do. Wow. Well, see, I thought it was unique. I think the first time I was joking about it and you said, that's my name. I mean, okay, y'all, y'all got to know when you when you're crossing the line, you might cross the line. But I was like, duh, duh. And she, and she said, that's really my name. It's like, really my name. <laughs> I'm like, oh, really? Because like I shared with you before, my mom always loved doves. You know, I'm a, pre, I'm a PK. So church programs, they had to have a dove. 
when you're fixing the, the scrolls for the Easter service, it had to have a dog. If you was fixing something, it had a dove on. My mama loved it because she always said it was purity. It was nothing but purity when she saw the dove. So when I see it and I hear you, I think I automatically think of my mom. So I'm getting chills. I think about my mom because that was something that she always appreciated about the dove, that it meant purity. And she always said that the dove carrying the branch was always carrying power to somebody else. That's what my mom Well, said. you know what? And and I guess growing up, I didn't really make the dove wasn't that significant to me. But mm -hmm. as I got older and started to really kind of delve into my connection personally with my name, you know, because we never mm -hmm. think about our names and connecting us. And I said, you know, OK, so, you know, God still works um, and, and things are the way they are because that's how he wants them. So I kept saying, OK, so let me check into, you know, why this was connected to me. You know, when you check into right. what Lisa means, you check into what Dove means mm -hmm. and all those things. And Dove was, um, it gave me something too to also be my goals. Um, so, you know, Dove suggested grace, um, yeah. peace, softness, kindness. And, you know, although you don't, you're not always exhibiting those things, it mm -hmm. always kind of reminds me, okay, so I need to live up to, the things that Dove represents. Um, so I kind of took it and, and, and decided to embrace it um, for all of the wonderful things it's supposed to be. Um, and then when I started the businesses and used it, it was because that's what I want those platforms to be, to, to, to push out that same message mm -hmm. of grace and peace um, and kindness and extension, um, like the, the olive branch. That is the one symbol that I always think about and the story behind um, yes. the dove going out there to, to, to find land. I mean, that, that whole story yes. about the olive branch was like, that's everything I want, everything that I do to kind of be about. And anything who think, anybody who thinks anything different doesn't really know me because that is my, right. that is who I am inside. So <laughs> now I'm not saying that I, you know, it's all Being the time, you know, I have my moments and, and I'm human and all that kind of stuff. But really that's, that's my goal in life is to always kind of, you know, bring myself back to, okay, who are you? Who are you? Um, and, and Dove having that name just reminds me of what I should be representing, you know, when I go out here. So, you know, I need to make sure, okay. And the power shut up is directly connected to that. Um, yes, the is. power shut up is all about bringing peace to yourself. I mean, to be honest with you, it's a self checkbook. It's not about going out there and telling people to shut up. It's also not about taking away your voice. Um, not. not that at all. Um, I really, I'm, my voice is important to me, um, but it, it is about, it's not just important to have a voice, but it's also important to know how to manage that voice. Um, so you can be you as loud as you want to be and you will never accomplish anything because you haven't learned how, when, where, if, to speak on something um so, so yeah it's a it's a method to the madness <laughs> well i told you it is still my second bible <laughs> and i know somebody that's been watching said, so, well you ain't got it next to you right now that's because i had other things to do this mountain and i had to move my furnitures i told lisa i was doing some things earlier. but anywho that is my second bible because the first thing I thought about it was that you, you know, because the power to shut up. I thought you were going to tell me how to shut up. <laughs> and when I started reading, I'm like, well, dang, I never thought about that I could speak this way and it would give off this. Mm -hmm. the, po the, the power to rearrange what I'm saying and how I'm saying is really powerful. Mm -hmm which is like you said earlier, it's a, it's a way you can break that book down in so many different ways mm -hmm. that everyone from a child on up could get some peace out of it because Absolutely. there are powers that you, your voice needs to be heard. There's times that you need to choose when to use your voice and how you use your voice. There's so many, y'all get the book. 
I'm just that, say yeah, that. and, and it gives cool. insight to how I got there. I mean, yeah, it um, does, that's it one does. of the reasons I love to do interviewing and, and that journalism was so important to me because I love to hear people's journeys and their stories. I'm yes. always like interested in how people got to be where they are in life, whether they were celebrity, whether they were business owner, whatever it is, um, which is why I have a balance of all, you know, in my circle, because I've, I've always been curious and it's a genuine organic um, interest in, you know, how did you get to be where you are? And so power, the power shut up actually kind of tells my story. It shares not in depth too much, but it, it shares some things that I've gone through since I was a child. And it also shares some things that I went through um, health wise um, that kind of, yeah. you know, there really was a wake up call I went through where I really felt that God was, was shutting me up. Um, mm -hmm. because I myself know that I'm stubborn and I think he just figured I'm not going to be able to get her to hear me any other way um, <laughs> because I'm like, you know, <laughs> so, I mean, I, but, but to know yourself is, is, is so powerful as well. Um, and I'm just an advocate of self-awareness. Um, and unfortunately, I'm seeing through COVID that a lot of people are really not self-aware, but it really does make the difference in how open you are, how um, honest you are with yourself about who you are, will really address a lot of issues that people have, um, even with the power shut up. Not saying that I was wrong all the time, but I also wasn't right all the time. And it got to a point where I just didn't even like to hear my own voice. Not there because I was saying something wrong, because I was just frustrated that I wasn't getting through. Um, and then I had to, instead of trying to, what we always do is want to change the other person, I had to see, okay, so Lisa, how are you contributing to this That's and right. what can you do differently? But it's a e it's an ego trip that we have to get off of. Um, and, and that's why I think some people fight it um, and, and think they're doing it right. But I really had to admit to myself that, um, yeah, sometimes I'm just not, it's not what I'm saying. It's sometimes it's how you say it. Sometimes it's when you say it. Um, and sometimes it's that you didn't even have to say that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, th did it make you feel better? And we always kind of go for the self gratification, but did it really make you feel better? Um, yeah. Maybe for a few minutes, but once you got over that, got you back, then how are you feeling? And right. I realized that, that sometimes it was like, I didn't feel any better. That's so, it. you know, do something different. And, you know, that's where people are challenged. They don't want to do anything different. We get stubborn. And we want to do it our way. And sometimes our way doesn't work. Sometimes our okay. way is, is totally out. It doesn't even, it has no substance to it. So right. to, be able to, to be able to put it into perspective, you know, sometimes you have to know when your words hurt not only someone else, but sometimes your words hurt, they will come back and hurt you. Oh, it will yeah, come, they will bite you. you. And when they come back, then you're sitting there going, well, I should have, I should have. Don't, you look, don't y'all use it out of content. I should have used my power, shut up. Because that's not what the book is about. It really is not. It's right. a, it's a, it's a catchy title. And it, 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 I mean, it's amazing from cover to cover. It's I kind of a play on words. It, it really is. is. So you really got, you, you're not going to get the full gist of it without reading it. Lisa, they're just not. And to be at the, at your power shut up event, oh my God, that was amazing, y'all. If y'all missed it, oh well, I was there. I didn't miss it. Was, it was. It was um amazing. Sound it was it was amazing on a deep level. It was a very deep conversation. It was a real conversation. Um, you were one of the speakers along with um Prince De Jour, Mark Clark. I mean, and I yeah. loved it because um you all were just open and honest and that's what made the conversation so real um and it really addressed issues where we are personally speaking we're all out of pocket a lot of times with our mouths we we got way too much to say we always keeping it 100 we always telling it like it is we are we, we doing all of that and what i'm yeah. suggesting is that maybe our approach to, you know, because when we're telling it and keeping it 100, who's 100? Who's That's telling right. it like it is? Because, I mean, you're the only one who's speaking this, you know? Right. So when did you become the authority on everybody's keeping it 100? So we need to stop 
you know, checking other folks and sometimes, you know, check ourselves, check yourself. You better check yourself. I, before I had you... a little girl said on the little YouTube thing, worry about yourself. Worry about yourself. That's you what she said. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> that, that part. <laughs> you better know. Because if you That's... don't know, we're going to come to an election with Lisa and tell you about it. That's right. So moving <laughs> into the luncheon with Lisa. Y'all, Lisa, I had this crazy conversation a few weeks ago with the person I was telling you that I told you I'm going to have to have a, con uh, a consultation with you about. Right. Anywho, so I hope your person watching because you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Anywho, I was having a conversation with this person and they said, well, you know, you're friends with a lot of people that do podcasting and, you know, have their own shows. Don't you feel intimidated by them? And I'm like, like who? And they're like, well, you know, you, you, you and that, that least that they don't know how to put the two together. That <laughs> lunch, least, least luncheon with Lisa. Yeah. And you're on the other, you was on the other lady that, um, um, uh, but the Hammond lady, Michelle B. Yeah, well, up front, mind, body, and soul. Yeah, mind, body, and soul. Okay, I'm gonna come. <laughs> please, she's gonna be here in two weeks, y'all. So, but check this out. They don't understand that you know when I say this, and I think you you can attest to this. There's a tribe of people that you you reach. There's a tribe of people that I reach. There's a tribe of people that Lisa reaches, and all all different podcasters, if you will. But the thing is, I love Lisa's show, y'all. And we get it, we have so much fun on on each of our shows. Mind, yes. body, and soul, luncheon with Lisa. Um, ah, child, there's so many. In anywho, but when you thought about doing luncheon with Lisa, what was the real, what was your your real catch for that? For the, the title, I love the name of the show. I love it. See, just look, I'm gonna tell you how old I am. I had to go back and I had to go back. So what does luncheon mean? <laughs> little girl, I had to go back and look it up. And when I was on the first show, I was watching, and you were talking about this is what it means. Okay, I'm gonna let her tell y'all. But this is what it means. I said, Oh, I know that. But I loved how you came with luncheon with Lisa. So tell the people about the show, because some of y'all got ain't got nothing to do on Thursday nights. So I'm gonna need you to watch the show. Well, to be honest with you, and some people, some people may know, some people might not. Uh, years ago, um, long, 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 long time ago, um, <laughs> Sean, was a baby. <laughs> Sean, when it was the Sean Mason Spence show, but she's now um, Sean Lasore. Um, Sean had a show at Bliss FM, and um, we connected through. Um, some of you all um, know the legendary uh sylvia tremor morrison um and sylvia had seen me on facebook and then invited me to come on the interview with her at bliss fm which was in studio and when i got in there and met sean and we had the interview and i was just honored that she would share that space with me and sean needed a producer and i had never produced before but like i said i've always wow. been interested in that whole arena whether it was tv radio whatever so i said hey well you know let's talk about it and what would you need and i can you know check it out so I became a producer on her show um and then she gave me a spot to do Dove Style Magazine where I could bring you know people on and interview them I think one of the people I brought on was Selena Johnson at one time because we had guys on the show with us so I was like okay I'm gonna bring Selena on and talk to them and stuff so um we had that connection going on and we became great friends and from Bliss FM I started another show that I did with a young lady and I mean I love the energy I love being in studio I love coming up with producing the shows and the themes and this, I just love doing that I mean I did it at home all the time when it came to Christmas I had a theme um you know new colors whatever it was so this was like right up my alley and when I stopped with the other show, I wanted to continue that space. I really enjoyed talking to people, hearing their stories, sharing their businesses. Y'all know me. I love to support people yes, and their businesses and stuff. Um, I love it. Um, it's not something I'm doing because of this. It's just that I love to do it. I promote people just because. I can't get to everybody, but I really do make an effort to, you know, share not just my stuff, but everybody's stuff. So sometimes right. other people's stuff more than mine, but I try to get me in a little more now these days um, for some <laughs> self-care too. But, um, and Luncheon with Lisa came about because on Dove Style Magazine, I wanted to start like a blog um, and start just generally talking to people about, you know, whatever. Um, it was kind of that, 
that side of me where of course you do the you know the sit up straight and talk and be nice kind of thing but then I wanted to kind of get something was like you know really just chill talk you know don't have to watch what you say kind of thing not too much now because I don't go too far with it but I wanted that kind of energy of just relaxed real conversation with whoever about whatever and my team actually was talking to me and I was like okay I want to keep the show thing going I wasn't doing the other show anymore so I was like luncheon with Lisa so one, I think one of them said it might have been Shariva or Felicia I can't remember who said you know why don't you just go with that for the name of the show and I was like oh wow. okay and then I mean within 24 hours they had everything set up so I didn't miss a beat because the other show was coming on like on Thursdays I kept that that day and never missed a, a week in between and started with luncheon with Lisa because I figured, you know, people out here lunching about all kinds of stuff. Um, and that was our phrase back in the day. When it. Tripping and shoot, they done lost their mind. They tripping, girl. They lunching. Um, so I went with luncheon and decided, okay, well, let people come on and lunch with me. You know, just chill and lunch with me. And that's where it started. Um, and I've been loving it. We're in our second season um, until August. And then August will end our second season until... The new year and we'll go into season three i'm loving it and i love my team they are the bomb um and we're always coming up with new ways to engage so we have a lunch box if you can see this over yep. i think it's over here somewhere um but we have a lunch box and everything because i love that kind of branding and just that's my creative um it allows me to do me um yep just have some fun with people and talk about things that matter to you know you watch the news and things like that. A lot of times it's bad news or whatever. I like to talk about things that people really want to talk about, but nobody says anything about, whether it's mm-hmm. self-care, self-love, relationships, whatever. Let's whatever talk it about is. it. Yeah, because people are lunching about all that stuff. <laughs> yep, yep. She And she has, you have so many. Mm. <laughs> oh, I can't stand this cop. You have so many different, yeah, I I'm a, I think I'm going to do a show on what long haul really means. Y'all don't that would be that. a great idea. You know, Lisa, can I do it on your show? Can you interview me? Cause I can. That would be a great idea. Yes, we can talk okay, about I'm that. A, I'm going to throw that on your, because uh, I want to talk, I want to tell, oh, I was going to say, I was going to say my employer's name. I'm sorry. Whew, I had a regress right there. Shoo, child. But I mean, whew, I, I am exercising the power of shut up. Because <laughs> I still work there. Oh. But anywho, but you know, the thing is when people get on your show, you have so many diversity, you, you have a di- diverse show. You bring in so many different people from celebrities to people that are just starting out in their businesses and stuff of that nature. And, you know, while some of us are doing some, some, something similar, you give pod- podcasters like myself and other people <clears throat> some energies that we probably didn't know oh, we had you. you know I started in what 20 the end of 20 look I think it was the end of 20 because this is 22 I yep. yeah so I started the end of 20 uh doing uncensored and so one of the things that I was like you know being able to be so flexible and having people just talk about anything and you know what Lisa says she don't go you know she Y'all have to be real nice and don't get too far out there. So I don't care what you're talking about. Don't I, and I love it. It gives me that space to be like, okay, so I'm getting ready to go on uncensored. I know what uncensored means, okay? Um, so when you come on here, act like don't act like you don't know because mm. she already told you. And I'm it's, ready for it. I'm ready for it. <laughs> it, get real, it get real up in here, up in here, up in here. But, but that was what, you know, again, I told the person, I said, no, I don't get intimidated by anybody that I work with because we all have different, you know, our different flair to stuff, right? Absolutely. And so I'm, I'm totally the opposite. I'm like, oh God, what's she going to do now? Oh, how's she going to fix the shit? She got a lunchbox. I can't get no <laughs> lunchbox for us. So, so that wouldn't even make sense. But you know what I'm saying? It, you, it's you, differences. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you make it fun though to watch the show. I get a tip, I, you know, you, and you have other people, which we're going to talk about that real quickly, because I'm getting Lisa off the show, off my show early. So, can, so we're doing self curl this year, y'all. <laughs> That's right. So, so we're doing self curls this year. So, but 
you also offer your platform with DSM and, you know, Luncheon It With Lisa is a, is a product of your DSM. So tell the folks a little bit about DSM and what that really stands for and what y'all can expect. Because I know some well, of y'all need help. Yes, DSM Media. So um, my partner, Shariva Smith, um, we actually met at work um, on our full-time jobs and she is a creative as well. She is just a, just a brilliant young, young, I'm gonna say young woman um, doing the daggone thing. She is a mom. She's a hard worker. She knows her stuff. And she had that young energy um, and we just connected. Um, and it started off with, hey, if you need some help, because I was thinking, you know, I'm getting, it's a lot going on. And she had the perfect energy for it. And then we just, our minds just kind of go. And um, this, and we started helping people with creating commercials and um, just finding where there was a need. And because because we love what we do and she has her own following with saving um saving my pockets huge mm -hmm. following she is a, a create i mean her mind goes way beyond mine but when we got together we decided okay so people are doing these lives um the production behind it is something that fascinates us we love it um a lot of people don't care anything about the background production or they don't have the time for that they just want to come on right. do their business and leave and we want we we saw a need and we love Love to be in that space so right. yes dsm media kind of you know is behind lunch with lisa but we also develop a platform um that we have a platform for other shows so um mm -hmm. michelle bolden hammond is has her show up front mind body and soul tamika joy the stars with tamika joy comes on dr tashika green and jacqueline griffin they come on on saturday mornings they have an amazing show i mean and that just kind of shows you that there's no competition um, mm -hmm. because I have my show on Thursdays and yet I have other shows on the platform because they're all yeah. different. They all have different energy. And like I said, there's no competition and, and, and that shows you, you'll be able to see who is not, we all shouldn't be worried about what the next person is doing. If you are following the path you're supposed to follow, everybody wins. We're all going in the same direction. Oh, so I don't feel any you know, angst, um, even with that means, you know, what you were talking about, that would be what I would be feeling if like, well, how could you have a show and yeah. then do the production of your show and then do the production for other people's shows? I said, because there's no competition there. I don't feel, I don't feel any kind of way and need to do they, but that's the space we're supposed to be in where everybody can win together. So mm -hmm. the ultimate give, why would I not help other people to do you know, something that they're motivated to do and, and get their word out. Why can't I be behind them to push theirs out and push mine out too? We're just, it's so true. and sometimes we'll have the same guests. Sometimes we'll have different guests, but we're all different people with different personalities. And mm -hmm. I love watching your show. I love being behind the scenes because we get to glean from Michelle's show. She has some amazing yes. guests and shows. I mean, to Dr. Tashik and them get us started on Saturday mornings at 10 o'clock. So there's something for everybody, men, women, children, mm -hmm. everybody. It's enough room out here for everybody. And DSM Media, shout out to Shariva. She is the bomb she is just she is amazing and she knows her stuff so she is she I don't know what else to say besides Shariva just is every she's my right hand left hand she she's always there um I know I wear her out she's on my executive team for all of the businesses <laughs> and she That's has her right own up. But we look out for each other and DSM Media has really grown. Um, we do graphics, we do um, commercials, we do background production, um, we do some um, strategy, um, you know, consultations, things like that. So, and we're growing and growing. So it's a wonderful thing. And I'm blessed to have her as a partner. Um, so yeah, DSM Media started maybe, I don't know if it's been quite a year, but we have been a We've been having fun. We've been having a lot of fun. That's it. Well, Lisa, I tell you, where did the time go? We just started. No, we always had such a good time. I know, but then you just get so fast and stuff. But guess what? Since we have our own platforms, we can do this anytime we want to. We just, we just look when y'all see me to say, it's, she's coming back. You just That's never, right. Just never know because. I enjoy talking to you. I enjoy your energy. And I, and I think 
a lot of people don't understand that people's energies do make a difference. Oh, yes. You know, I can say this in front of her now because I don't care about it like it. The first time somebody told me to reach out to Lisa Lawash, I said, oh, she looks like a celebrity. She wouldn't talk to me. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, and believe. She, I did, so, Dr. Sylvia Coons, wherever you are out there in TV <laughs> land. Because I, I was looking for someone to come on the you know, collaboration versus conspiracy. And we were all in a group, Michelle Hamm and all of us was in a group. And she's been, Stephen said, call Lisa Washington. She would probably be great to do it. And I get on the phone and you're like, oh, I just love your energy. And I'm like, well, dang, she is just like laid back and stuff. What? You know, she's just regular right old Lisa. And just, <laughs> and just as country as I am. And we just had a ball. It was like we were on the phone for, I guess, an hour before Hours. we knew it. And then she's like, well, what, how can I? Look, we'll be on for an hour. And she said, well, how can I help you? <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> about that but that's the kind of energy that you give and that's what you give and you make all of the doves I keep saying it all of the dove productions you know reflect that you know you're just that kind of person that you're lively and you're always trying to do something to help somebody else I appreciate, I appreciate you. you Victoria Elevates appreciate you you have been on our favorite Sparrow Conference along with Michelle Hammond and Kay Clark. Um, you've also, you've been, <clears throat> you've been behind the scenes with even, uh, what is the part, you did the commercial for us this, this last time. So, girl, get ready, because you know, we, we're going to bring favorite Sparrow back again. Y'all get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm going to say, because Victoria pulled my car, she, I swear to goodness, and I appreciate you because she, she does, she moves in in her in in her direction. Whatever the, wherever the spirit leads her, she really does move in that direction. And you called me to do something that caught me way off guard, um, and it has blessed me ever since um, because it was something that was way out of my. I think we were doing a favors fair, and um, some things led you to ask me to pray us in, and I had never, never done that before i go to church i pray you know but it's all been just me and god never you know in front of me wow. and i was but i didn't say no because no, i was didn't. like i'm not gonna say no to victoria she asked me i'm gonna do it but i was so oh, wow. nervous um oh, wow. and oh. i just did what she asked me to do because i said because so I, I felt like the, the request came for a reason um and we talked, you know, we talked about it, but it blessed me because you, you brought me out of a box where I would have always been like, well, no, you know, if they ask, does anybody want to, you know, and I would be like, no, no, I'm, you know, I'm good. I, <laughs> but, um, wow. it, it, it wouldn't it allow, it has showed me that I, I can, um, and, and that it takes, you know, and, and actually after that, other people asked, um, oh, wow. I was prompted various times I was prompted to do that and I was thinking you know me um because that's when you said it I was thinking me you know I'm sure there are people on here that could do this much better than me but I thank you for that because um those are the kind of moments that let you know um and I think God works in mysterious ways sometimes and and that's how literally that's how he talks you know it's like when that happened I was like oh I know that's you and I know you working through her um and after our conversation it, it was all about that um so I thank you for that because I was scared to death <laughs> but I'm not as scared anymore <laughs> wow well Lisa well I might to play that part just for you tomorrow <laughs> this is, I'm, I'm gonna only do that part. Of I said I don't know how I did, but I did, but I did it, and that was the point. Um, and, oh. and 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 I thank you for that. Well, you are more than welcome. I I do try to go at least ninety five percent of the time. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I no, I'm not joking. I'm telling the truth. But I do try to go at least ninety five percent of the time. I'm like God, whatever you say, you know, you fix it, you do it. You know, I've been asked recently, you know, why have we not seen a lot of conferences and stuff being set up yet? And my answer is just stay tuned because <laughs> it's, it's coming, uh, you know, and I, I got to say thank you to Lisa 
uh, and Michelle Hammond and uh, Kay Clark and some of the others that are watching tonight because when I when I first got diagnosed, you guys was on the phone and or texting and making sure I was good. And so that is one of the reasons why I'm coming back slowly. But the favorite prayer conference is coming back. Collaboration versus conspiracy is coming back. Y'all better get ready for the domestic violence it. conference of the year. It's coming back. I'm yes. telling you be live because we laugh because what we don't want to cry no more is coming back so those are my, my three heartbeats those are my heartbeats lisa and yes. so i gotta bring them back uh you know so just stay tuned you're going to be seeing some things but lisa i appreciate you so much for being on the show tonight oh so girl you. you look you know you're coming back so i ain't even got to you you know i want to come back yeah i want to always come back <laughs> But it's the thing, and I didn't mention this in the beginning, I get excited when uh, you come, but the thing for this month is divine destiny. And I truly believe meeting you was divine destiny because it opened up some other way, airways and doorways for me. And again, it talked me back into doing writing and stuff of that nature. So I got to say to you, my friend, you are the biz on bot.com. She really <laughs> is too. Hey, she really girl. But you know, I got to say you, you, you did, you're the, you're the media.com. Uh, there's a couple of people I said, I was thinking about, I said, if I can get you and those other two people, Nikki Nesbitt and Bernice Loman out there, I know you're listening. If I get you three together on one platform, the media, the media world will be never be the same. Wow. So, I can't wait. I'm I'm thinking about that. I got some other people that I want to kind of put on that platform <clears throat> just because I know that would it benefit you all will bring to the table. So we're going to be talking about that in the next couple of weeks. I got some things, look, like you in my head. That's that, right. <laughs> and again, get on the paper, right? So we're going to be doing that. I'm telling you, I, I girl, I, I, I don't want to let you go. I just don't. But I got it. I ain't going nowhere for real, for real. I'll be she back. Gonna, she'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I might look for well, next week. She might be back. No, nah, we got to go. I forgot. But I, I do appreciate you, my friend. I really Thank do. Thank you. And, uh, I, I appreciate think, you too. I don't, I don't think the only time we ever said no is if our dates clashed. <laughs> That's about the only time. We That's right. Clashed. That's right. So, you know, if you, it's like you see one, you see the other. So, guys, tune into Lynchin with Lisa on Thursday nights. If you miss it, she does have it as a replay. Go back and check it out. I'm telling you, you're gonna be it's gonna be amazing. You're gonna be amazed with it. She's an amazing hostess and she's an amazing publisher. She's about amazing as this. You can get. She oh, don't. thank you. That's why I say I gotta keep you with me. I gotta keep you with me. <laughs> got you, no, I appreciate. I appreciate you so I much. Appreciate you, girl. You you the you the one. To all of you out there that have been watching, Michelle B. Hammond. We got Monica. Hey, Monica's out there. Oh my God. The whole crew, we got Kimberly, we got uh, Nakia was out there with us earlier, we got Coach K Clark's out there with us, guys, y'all gotta come back, y'all gotta come back and check out my friend Shariva, Deborah, all of y'all, we appreciate y'all for coming, but guess what, Lisa, I got bad news with people, they're gonna be upset, why, no uncensored next week, oh, nah, long it's, as it's not forever, Nah, it's just for Super Bowl. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna be nice. Well, I would have been watching because we're not Super Bowl family, but well, we'll well, watch it. But we're not football my team family for real. My team ain't playing, so I ain't gonna <laughs> see him to win no ham, but and we're not gonna talk about my favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys. But we're not gonna talk about it. We're just not gonna talk about it. But we're gonna give everybody a break next week, and then we're gonna. And plus, it's Valentine's. <laughs> well you know lisa she... okay lisa i'm gonna make my own cake and my own candy <laughs> and i'm bringing it to myself i might take myself out on a date I... hey that's right you got love on you too girl i might dress up and send you a picture what i look like <laughs> mm -hmm, sure will but the week after that the week after super bowl y'all better get ready because we got another phenomenal coming back to the stage Lisa, you know this chick. I know this chick. Michelle B. Hammond will be coming back on Ooh. the show on February the 20th. She will be our lovely guest. The one and only mind, body, and soul herself will be back with us on February the 20th right here live. 
on Uncensored Conversation with Elevated Not Tolerated. You never know. And make sure you look for her on Dove Media, uh, DSM Media, because she's one of those people that's on her platform. So you're going to get to catch all of them. So y'all better make sure you watch it. So Lisa, any final words for the people before we sign off? Because you know how I sign off group. So anything else you want to tell the people tonight? The only thing I want to tell people to do is please learn how to exercise your power. Shut up. Um, it's it's really where your peace lies. So um, I mean that sincerely. Um, if you want to hit me up to find out how I found it, I will be happy to share with you. But it is important that we learn to be careful and think before we speak. All right. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it from the queen of power. Shut up yourself. One thing she didn't tell you was about five books. I'm telling you, five, <laughs> five, 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 five books. Lisa, is as always a pleasure. So guys, Thanks. I'm telling you now, Lisa, they think I'm going to come back in the morning and do morning moments. I ain't coming tomorrow. I'm just going to tell y'all next. Ain't going no more, no moments in the morning. Okay, not on Mondays. Lisa, I'm, I'm gonna be like you. I'm gonna be like Lisa. I'm taking my pills, and, <laughs> and I'm not gonna do it every day. But I, I'm definitely not gonna do it on Mondays because I got to teach a positive self building class. That's tomorrow. right. I got to do my little rest, and so we'll come back probably on Tuesday. But until then, I want you to come on, Lisa. Help me. Okay, I until sure will. Then, I want you guys to always remain. Come on, Lisa. Elevated and not tolerated, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks, Lisa. Hang out with me for just a sec. Okay.